My name is Gary Dawson, I'm the Managing Director of AV Dawson's. Um, we are a multimodal logistics business uh, with assets on Teesside uh, and uh, we've been you know, established since 1938 um, and uh, we're here today to promote ourselves um, in the current environmental climate. Uh, we think it's very, very important that people examine their supply chains, re-look at the modes they use for transport and we're in the fortunate position of being able to offer road, rail and sea distribution from our own facilities on the River Tees in Middlesbrough and Teesside. We distribute um, throughout the UK, um, but uh, we do have a, a specialist Irish forwarding division and we have a freight forwarding department um, and we can distribute throughout the world, uh, containerized or conventional. And we deal with all sorts of products from retail goods through to uh, steel and heavy industrial. It could cause some chaos. Um, uh, we're yet to see. I mean, uh, this, is, this is something that's just come about and it appears to be escalating. Uh, but um, uh, I would imagine that there could be some transport restrictions throughout the UK and throughout Europe. So it could be, therefore, that people have goods in transit that they then require buffer storage for that wasn't previously required. So in some respects, it could be difficult for us to carry out our final distribution, but could benefit our storage facilities. So we really don't know. We have key sides on the River Tees for discharging of ships. Uh, we have two railheads, so we can receive and distribute rail uh, by rail. Uh, and we have um, a 200 strong trailer fleet, um, our road transport division, as well as the forwarding I mentioned earlier. So we have several strings to our bow. Uh, and generally, when one side of the business um, comes into difficulty because of a situation like that, another part could actually benefit from it. We have over 500,000 square feet of warehousing on Teesside um, and over the last couple of years we've been looking at ways to reduce our energy costs within the warehouses. Um, that is the lighting of those warehouses where we have uh, put, uh, we've changed our lighting systems to, uh, uh, with advice from the Carbon Trust um, and taken advantage of interest free grants towards that changed our lighting which is a big part of our electrical costs in the warehouses. Also we have heated warehouses where we're burning a lot of gas oil and kerosene and within those facilities um, we, uh, we have um, introduced uh, additional measures in terms of insulation and closed door policies to, uh, to reduce our fuel consumption in the warehouses. However, the very ethos of what we do is to look at road and rail freight combined with sea freight. So we always look to receive goods that have travelled over long distances by sea or by rail and then have less haulage, less vehicles doing more runs on a local basis rather than having several more lorries on the road over long distances. So as a business, part of what we're promoting is helping companies, helping retailers, helping manufacturers to reduce their own carbon footprints. Well, I think, I think we differ because uh, largely we're asset based, so we're, we're a 3PL, third party logistics provider. Um, there are a lot of people in the industry who are fourth party logistics providers. They can latch on to any of those services, but they don't necessarily own the asset. So I think our advantage is we can do 4PL, but primarily we do 3PL using our own facilities, our own transport fleets, our own warehouses, key sides, cranes, and our own people. So we give the, 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 the service and the, the added value that the customer requires to compete. Uh, I think as a business, um, our past and our history has been uh, in, the, in the heavy industry. So we've been working for the steelworks, we've been working for agrochemicals and heavy chemicals. Um, the shift in our business now has to be more towards growth. It has to be keeping those customers very much in hand, working with them to expand opportunities within the automotive sector, within steel production, within steel transportation. But we're now looking at exploiting the growth areas, which are clearly leisure, retail, and we're looking at the capital assets we have, and we're looking at the people we've got, and we're looking at transferring those skills into new markets. So we're very much saying to people, this is what we were, this is what we've got on Teesside, but look what we could do. And with the people and skills and the, the history we've got, we believe that we're very strongly placed to do so.